Hey, this is Dan with Guardian Mold Prevent, and I wanted to take a look with you today at an attic space located in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. Uh, I apologize because the video footage is very dark at first, but when we get to the after footage, it'll lighten up and you'll be able to see very clearly. Uh, but this is a home that's been placed on the market by the homeowner, and they've got buyers at the table that have brought in a home inspector to take a look at the attic space for them. Uh, and ultimately the whole house, but essentially on the inspection report that was provided to the sellers of the home uh, with a list of repairs that they wanted them to complete included attic mold um, as, as found by the inspector during the inspection. This is a very common thing and most people are basically blindsided by the fact that they've got attic mold at all, but due to the extreme climate, uh, temperature changes in our climate and uh, in our region, it's very common to have attic mold located up in your attic space uh, because you don't spend very much time up there uh, and maybe you put your Christmas tree up there once a year. You seldom find it before the home inspection, but nonetheless, we were called in to rectify this issue. Now, I want to take a little bit of time so that you understand why attic, attic mold develops. And uh, as you can see, this is a diagram of a home, a rough diagram, and at the very uppermost ceiling in your house, the second floor ceiling or first floor if you have a ranch, there's a good barrier of insulation that's supposed to be installed above the drywall. That's meant to keep the house heat down and out of the attic space. And then the attic space is meant to be conditioned by the outdoor environment. So at the lower portions of your roof, you should have vents cut into the soffits that allow for cold air, especially in the wintertime, to get up into the attic space and then sufficient uh, ventilation at the upper portion of your roof that allows for any warm air that gets in the attic to be forced up and out and replaced with cold air. What happens when that warm air gets into your attic space and it gets trapped because of insufficient ventilation or insulation, it reaches those ice cold roofing members condensates uh, because it reaches dew point and ultimately you get mold growth. Now what we do is we come in and treat everything with a biocide which is a product that kills mold on contact and then we physically scrub down all of the surfaces of the space. Once we've got those surfaces uh, killed uh, of the mold growth and the surface is prepped so that a coating will adhere. We then apply a acrylic based mold resistant coating. Uh, in this case it was a white product that the homeowner opted to go with and that that product uh, comes with a 10 year manufacturer's warranty that it won't support mold growth. The entire time we're working we run an air machine to clean the air while we're working and we come back the next day and pull that machine out and you're good to go.